Hey, Twelves, uh, new topic today, flat rate loans. We looked at this in class. Just a reminder, interest is what we're learning about. To begin with, interest is the cost of borrowing money. Right? It's not a rate. Um, that's the interest rate. That's this R thing here. Interest is cost of borrowing money. Always remember that when we're doing those questions. Right? We've been through a little bit of this terminology. We'll cover more as we come across it. First of all, though, I want to have a look here. Calculate the flat interest. Right? To begin with, we're talking about flat interest, also called simple interest. Right. Increases at a steady rate according to three things: the principal, the amount borrowed, the which is this part here, the rate of interest, right, which is this part here, and the length of time, the number of terms n, this part here. Okay, so calculate the interest. Remember, not the total amount owing, but the interest. Therefore, my interest is P R N capitals or not? No, it sort of varies. But anyway, equals in this case, one hundred and twenty thousand. By 5%. Now I've got to change that to a decimal, 0 0.05 times the number of terms, 8. Okay, now that's 5% per annum, and it's 8 years, so they're the same units, that's good. All right, and if I punch those into my calculator, I get the interest of $48,000. Alright, just a reminder, calculate the interest, not the total amount repaid, that's what we've got here. All good. Number two, we borrow $16,000 by a car, flat rate, good. Right, that's what we want for the time being. That's all we're looking at at the time being, but that will change. 6% per annum, good per annum, years, things to keep an eye on. We're going to repay, repay the loan plus interest. Loan plus interest. Over five years, the total amount. Okay, this time I'm going to work out the interest and add that 16000 back on. Right, therefore, my interest equals PRN, which equals mm, 16000 times my 6%, 0 0.06, times my 5 years, equals, hang on with me, I should have got this organised before, what are those numbers? 16,000 times 6% times 5 is $4,800. Now, the amount repaid, we're going to use A for amount, equals 16,000 plus the interest, 4,800, which gives us a total of $20,800. Right, notice the difference. We had to add the principal back on here because we know the total amount. Key word, total. Example three, and this will be our last example for flat rate of interest. Lucy borrows $10,000. There's my principal to buy a motorbike. Don't care about the motorbike. That's irrelevant. Repaid, repaid over four years. Uh, we're working years. 250 per month. Hmm. Calculate the flat rate of interest that Lucy has been charged. Right, more complex here, typical general maths kind of thing where we're working backwards through this. Okay, so what we need to do is, I'm going to say 250 per month. So the amount repaid is $250. Oops. Oh, right. $250 times. 12, that's much per year, times 4. So that means that Lucy paid back... Lucy paid back $12,000. Right? Lucy paid $12,000. Right? She borrowed $10,000. So my interest... Remember, interest is the cost of borrowing money. She borrowed ten. She paid back twelve. So my interest is 12000 minus 10000 equals two thousand dollars right now we've worked out the interest but i want to know the rate of interest now we know that my principal equals oops no it doesn't we know that interest equals prn therefore two thousand dollars equals uh, my principal was ten thousand times my rate, which is unknown, which I want to find, times my number of years was four. Right, when I rearrange those things, I get R is 2,000 over 40,000 is one over 20 is 0 0.05 equals 5% per annum. Okay, 
be more uh, sort of uh, anticipate these sorts of questions where we work backwards. Quite a complex example, particularly compared to the other two. That's what I need you to do. Hope that's some help. I will see you on Monday.